Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, I'll take up another important oral examination question that is often asked of chief mate and shipmaster candidates. Uh, today's question is uh, what and why are in-water surveys conducted by classification societies? Sometimes uh, this question is asked in another way and asked uh, what is meant by the class notation IWS. So IWS actually stands for in-water surveys and today I'll tell you what all it entails. So the in-water survey is actually a large part of ship being surveyed and this is being conducted by classification societies and these inspections are conducted primarily to replace the need of dry dockings at relatively short intervals as dry dockings as you know it's quite expensive for the ship owner now according to the international association of classification society or iscs rules a ship's outer hull and the associated appendages must be inspected twice every five years with a maximum time frame of 36 months between inspections and that is why you will see that even the dry docking schedule of a vessel is normally uh, two times within five years so the in in water surveys or iws is actually an acceptable alternative for one of the two inspections for vessels assigned an iws class notation alternatively in water survey inspections are also conducted when there is hull damage or other mechanical or exterior damage now the main process of conducting an iws involves using divers the divers wears special dive suits with underwater video equipment, as you can see on your screens, which transmits video to a screen viewed by a surveyor on deck. With the use of communications equipment, the surveyor is able to instruct the diver where to look. This is particularly helpful when surveyors are conducting damage inspections. Once the hull has been inspected, the surveyor will either pass the inspection and issue a certificate which will remain current until the vessel is required to dry dock for her next special survey or if the hull condition is not satisfactory the surveyor will recommend the issue of a condition of class and appropriate corrective actions which must be taken within the time specified by class i have made a separate video on condition of class you can find it in the link or in the description section below and uh, the surveyor when they recommend an issue of a condition of class it could simply involve a hull cleaning by certified drivers or could also require a complete docking for more extensive repairs so i'm making these short videos because these are the kind of questions being asked of candidates when they go for oral examination initially i was just passing on the questions to you but i thought i should also pass on some of the answers in brief which is good enough for you to answer the questions in the oral examination i don't want it to be too long if you want to study more on it you are please welcome to do so thank you for watching today's video and thank you for supporting the channel i'll see you soon with my next video bye for now